bombing acts don't happen spontaneously. They require significant planning and coordinated actions. Many of these preparatory behaviors and activities can be recognized and reported by vigilant observers. Throughout our lives, we may observe things that feel unusual or suspicious. Sometimes we hesitate to report what we've seen because we doubt our instincts or don't want to cause trouble. But identifying and reporting suspicious behaviors is a crucial step in preventing these tragic attacks. Security professionals watch for specific actions and activities that terrorists and criminals often complete as they plan a bombing attack. If you can recognize these signs, you can help prevent the attack. Use the acronym BOMBER to assess what you see as suspicious activity. B. Baseline First, know what baseline behavior looks like. The first step to recognizing whether something is suspicious is to identify what is normal for your area and the people around you. If something feels abnormal, take a closer look. O. Operational Indicators Executing a bombing attack usually requires a planning process. Look for any indicators of this organization, planning, or network of people. This may include surveillance, practice runs, testing or probing of security, and more. Let's break it down further. You might see indicators such as attempting to conceal a phone, camera, or video camera when recording the area, making notes, diagrams, or sketches of an area, asking questions about facility HVAC or ventilation systems, observing security reaction drills or procedures at a facility, taking pictures or video of security cameras, access points, security personnel, and other building features and perceived vulnerabilities. Attackers also want to know whether they will be able to complete their attack without being stopped, so they may conduct security tests by deliberately interacting with or challenging installations, personnel, or systems in order to find any weaknesses in local security. They may also practice or rehearse for the attack by putting people into position and moving them around according to their plan. Other indicators include mapping out routes, scoping out the flow of traffic, testing communication devices or disguises, or recording how long their plan will take to execute. They may even test security or law enforcement response times by committing other criminal acts or sending hoax packages or devices. Because you're looking for indicators of suspicious activities, a combination of any of these activities would be especially important to note. M. Materials. Terrorists can't just walk into a store and buy a bomb. Instead, they must acquire, store, and assemble the components and materials needed to create a homemade or improvised explosive device. Some of these bomb-making materials are ordinary items, while other components are carefully monitored or controlled. Take note of indicators such as buying or storing large amounts of electronics, such as cell phones, timers, or remote control devices, buying quantities of fuel, chemicals, or toxic materials that an average person wouldn't ordinarily need, asking unusual questions about chemicals or equipment, making large cash purchases, acting more nervous than a normal customer, buying unusual combinations of supplies, stealing or attempting to steal such materials. They also often need money to support the operation and may engage in theft or unusual fundraising to get it. B. Bomb Building Activity Indicators of an explosive device being built include evidence of bomb-making research, such as printed instructions or online resources, physical indicators that a person has been working with explosive materials or is operating a homemade explosives lab, such as unusual burns, stains, or odors, testing of devices or mixtures, which may result in explosions, fires, or strong chemical smells. E. Elicitation, or discreetly gathering information through conversation. Terrorists need to know all they can about their target and the things or people that might disrupt their plans, so they try to elicit that information in various ways. Whether through email, phone calls, or in-person contact, attackers may ask unusual questions that go beyond normal curiosity. They might ask about a building's purpose, operations or security procedures, or even ask about specific personnel or when shift changes happen. Finally, R. Respond. 
Your prompt and detailed reporting of suspicious activity may help prevent dangerous crimes and attacks. If you see multiple suspicious activity indicators, that activity must be reported. But what if you just observe one? Report it anyway. Authorities are trained to analyze these reports, determine validity, and respond appropriately. Always remember to notice activities rather than people. Behaviors are suspicious, not people. Major bombing attempts on U.S. soil have been prevented when suspicious activity was reported. Remember, bomber, baseline, operational indicators, materials acquisition and storage, bomb building activity, elicitation, respond, report it right away.